Hey everyone, so a few weeks ago, Sample Phonics reached out to me about demoing some of their samples. And they have a huge selection to choose from, but what caught my eye was a jazz vocal sample collection. And they had a really talented female jazz vocalist record some nice, some nice vocals, and then they have these all packaged up and available for download. Um, so I figured this would be a really cool opportunity for me to challenge myself and write a track based on those vocals. Machine isn't really usually used for tracking out vocals, but I figured since it's really good at sampling, I could sort of use these vocal collections as samples and then go ahead and try to make a project. So in this video, I'm first going to talk about the sample pack itself, show you what it contains, and then I'll move on to my project and talk about some tips for writing a track based on vocal samples. So enough of the talking, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm opening up the main folder here, we see we have four different categories. So let's start with the improv loops. First, we have just a collection of what it says, some imp improvised, die, ha, da, da, die. some improvised little licks. And the nice thing is here, you can see it tells you the tempo as well as the key. So these are all at 120 beats per minute in the key of C. Die, ha, da, 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 die, ha, da, da, die. So that info will be very helpful when you're going to make a project based on them. Uh, next, we have some one shots, both long notes and some scat vocals. Let's take a look here. So they've recorded different uh, different notes of those vocals, and then some short samples here with the scats. So that sounds pretty cool. Some usable stuff in there. And then let's move on to the sampler instruments uh, here, depending on what you're using. Obviously, we're using machine, but if you're using any of these other samplers, they have the formats ready to go. And if you open up the machine folder, we have different groups that we can load up and directly use. But since I'm going a little bit more off of the charts, a little bit more freeform, I figured I'd just drag my own samples into my own group. Now, finally, we have songs. And here we have six different entire songs recorded. We have choruses and verses and all sorts of different stuff within each of these folders. Um, so if you open up any of these, we can see the different sort of categories of vocals within the song. Um, we have some harmonies. Let's see what these sound like. Getting higher. And different verses and different verse harmonies. So tons of different things to choose from. Lately, you've been getting me down. And we have tons of different songs, six different ones to choose from anything that you're looking for. And so here, let's go ahead and take a look at the samples I used. I put these into my vocal group and they are all from the song Higher. So let's take a look here. First thing I did was just dragged some different samples in and then added some effects on the group level. Here we can see I have some EQ, reverb, and beat delay just to sort of give these some more space. Lately, you've been getting me down. Get it higher with every sound. I'm getting higher. So you can hear those effects really make it sound a lot bigger uh, if I disable them. Get it higher with I'm every getting higher. Get it higher with every sound. I'm getting higher. I figured this would be sort of an electronic, large sounding track, so adding the reverb and the beat delay sort of adds to that theme. Um, so I had these vocals in the group. I added the effects on them to get them how I wanted them to sound. And then after that, I needed to set my project tempo to the correct setting of the vocals. Now here they say that they recorded at 122, but I decided to speed it up just a little bit to 128. And I didn't run into many problems. Some of them I had to time stretch using machines time stretch feature just in the sample edit mode using the stretch option over here. Um, but for the most part, it's a small increase in tempo. So I just left them as they were. And I also figured out from the labeling that this was in the key of F. So that would be my main key that I would write everything else in. And I referenced the pad mode on the machine hardware to get that in key. So I'm going to head over to the hardware now since I'm done talking about the sample pack. And I'll show you how I first added some instrumentation and then some drums and then did a little bit of arranging to get a nice little track using these samples. So let's go ahead and go on to the hardware. So the first thing that I added to the vocals was just a basic synth pad, and I put all my instruments over here on group B. And by adding the synth pad, I just wanted to create the foundation of the rest of the instruments. I wanted to make sure I could figure out some nice chords that were in key and that fit with the vocals. 
Um, so after recording a vocal pattern, it sounded just like this. I'm getting higher, getting higher with every sound. That would allow me to play notes as the vocals were playing in the background and make sure I could figure out something that sounded good. So I went into keyboard mode here and looking at this screen here, it'll tell me the notes. So here's, there's my F that I need to make sure I'm using because we're in F. And I just figured out some chords that would sound good with the sample. And to be honest, this took a lot of time. It was a lot of trial and error, and I'm condensing that process for this video. And after a while, it sounded, um, or what I came up with was this. I'm getting higher, getting higher with every sound. I'm get so the workflow so far was just recording a pattern on the vocals and then finding some chords to match. Now, after I laid down those chords, I moved on to my next synth sound. And that sounded like this. Whoops, that came later, not in order. Um, I wanted to use this one here. Yeah, this is the one that I actually recorded next after those chords. And using this synth pad, I just recorded some low notes and added those in, and it sounded like this. I'm getting higher, getting higher with every sound. So you can just hear those droning in the background. And after I had recorded the, the chords, it's a lot easier to get the notes down because I'm actually referencing the chords rather than the vocal sounds. So I, I have the notes in mind from my previous recordings, so I'm just going off of those. So I added that synth pad, and then I added this sort of chip sound to add a little bit of like a riser sound at the end of the pattern. I'm getting higher, getting higher with every sound. I'm getting higher. So right now I just have the synth chords, a droning synth pad, and then a little lick of some synth lead chip sound, whatever you want to call it. Um, next I added some piano and I put a lot of reverb on here to sort of throw it in the back of the mix. It sounded like this. I'm getting higher, getting higher with every sound. It's actually pretty hard to hear that. I'll mute the chords. I'm getting higher, getting higher with every sound. So just some additional layers using that piano. And then finally, I added a really low bass to fill out the low end. I'm getting higher. So that was the process of recording the instrumentation. It follows really closely to what I normally do when creating a track, but the difference is the main chords had to come from the vocals. They were dictated by whatever sounded good with the vocal samples. But once I had those main chords recorded, I just referenced everything to those, and then everything sounded in line. Um, after I got all the instrumentation done, I moved on to the drums, and they sounded, whoops, I want to go back here. The drums are just a kit from Laser Dice. I had to change a few of the sounds, but for the most part, it's just right from there. So. I'm getting higher, getting higher with every sound. I'm getting higher, getting higher with every sound. I'm getting higher, getting higher. So I did a little bit more work on the arrangement, some mixing and some fine tuning here and there, but basically I covered the main bulk of the work that I did for this track. Um, so hopefully by seeing this, you get some ideas of your own. If you're interested in the specific sample library, I will link that. And I will also link the Sample Phonics website so you can check out some of their other sample packs. I will probably be doing some videos of their other stuff, some more demos, maybe some finger drumming or something like that. Um, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But for now, I'm just going to play the final track. I'll run through the different scenes and I will finish up this video. Uh, so as always, thank you for watching and I appreciate all of the support. Lately, you've been getting me down.